Yo, people, what's up? It's Smithers R. Here to give you Brothers Conflict, episode one fucking review. Now it's fucking started, people. It's fucking started. This is what I've been waiting for. This is a good thing. It is a very good thing. But it's also kind of bad. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take it as an overall good thing that the, that the animes this summer are more towards the female demographic. Why is that? Because we need more female reviewers and people, more females in general in the anime community. So this is a very good thing. More fucking animes towards women that we have, the better chance that more women are gonna start liking anime, and that's gonna be a very good thing. All right, let's get right into this. First off, I'm not going to be reviewing each episode of this. Its concept is kind of harm, and I don't really like harms that much. I'm not going to be reviewing each episode of this, but I think I'm going to do a complete overall series review for this. Because it did intrigue me a little bit. And I thought that this fucking anime season was going to be really bad. It's 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 coming off right now, it's fifty fifty right now, and this is this right here um, is gonna still keep it like fifty, maybe maybe move it up a little bit to like fifty five percent. That's still an E, but it's 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 getting up there. Now then, this motherfucking episode, in a nutshell. Basically, there's a fucking girl, her fucking sister married a guy, and because of that, she has 11 new brothers. And she's going to live with these 11 new brothers in a fucking mansion. And we've already met seven of the brothers. Two of them are off working, and two of them live separately. And we met one of the ones that was off working, so that makes eight. And it was basically get started. Okay, we got the brother that she's first met. And then we got her little brother. The oldest and we got the youngest at the same time. The youngest is like 11 years old. Considering this is a harm, this is gonna be this could be some weird shit with an 11 year old there. Fuck it. What happens, happens. And then we got... Then we got the basketball player. We got... The prayer heavy motherfucker. This nigga literally prayer heavy. We got the twins. We got her classmate. And the eighth one that we got revealed on is of course a fucking idol. Now the way that this is setting up to be is definitely setting up to be a harm. A harm where the woman is the protagonist, and there are all these men that she loves around her. Now, is it going to go the SS route? I don't see it going like that. There are way too many motherfuckers in here for that to happen. But what I did notice, though, was that the fucking classmate motherfucker was pissed off that they didn't tell him that this was their new sister. Why is that important? Cause I'm starting to think that maybe this motherfucker has feelings for her. Like, like right off the bat, like, you motherfuckers knew I liked her. Why the fuck didn't you tell me about that shit? That's what I'm feeling from this shit. And now then, this, this overall animation is pretty nice. It has pretty good opening and a good ending, I'm gonna say. And got songs, sung by the motherfucking voice actors. They're pretty good. Songs basically like, like what you would think, I'm in love with my sister. It's on incest, but like I've said before, if they're not related by blood, it is an incest. If there's bad marriage, shit can still happen, in my opinion, so fuck it. But let's just get into this. This girl, she has a fucking squirrel. And this squirrel is basically the comic factor the comedy factor, yeah, the comedy factor for the entire anime. When they're first arriving there, she, he's like, he's like warning her. Apparently, she's the only motherfucker that can actually hear this motherfucker speak. The squirrel. 
And he's basically like, there's so many wolves out there, and you're about to live with them. He, he motherfucking swirl considers these niggas wolves. I can see that shit. And so, what's happening is, basically, it's setting up to be a harm. You know, there was, there was like, she got sick, niggas taking care of her. She meets everybody. Niggas are, niggas stepping up the game. One nigga, I fucking hugged him. And then the squirrel just like, oh shit. And he fucking jumped out about to attack this nigga. Like, literally about to give this nigga rabies. And all of a sudden, my motherfucker just went, whoosh. Fucking boom, done. We got back up. Still got his shit rocked. And it was the twin brothers. And I believe. So far, I believe that one of the twin brothers is like a romantic motherfucker. Like, he got all the girls. He's been really popular with the ladies. And to be honest, from what I've seen so far, I don't. Because it is romance harm. But with me. Romance and harm are two things that can't be together because I'm not saying it because it's it's like realistic concept like you may fall in love but there will always be another person that you could have these same feelings for and it's it's true in a case but when it comes to the romance factor with harms I don't really like it I just don't like it because with with harms I mean it's basically so many motherfuckers and you gotta choose and you never choose in the end. There have been one or two animes where the motherfucker actually chose. And that choice was usually, I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to pick all of you. But so far this overall is looking to be a very, very, very good anime. I'm not gonna want... I'm not gonna fucking like review each episode of this shit though. Mm -mm, mm -mm, can't do it. I'm not saying I like, literally can't. It's just it's more towards a female demographic. And when I watch it, it's not as good to me as it is to some other people. When I first like literally when I first when I first fucking typed the shit in and I saw an episode, I fucking clicked on it real quick so I could get like a synopsis of like the fucking plot of the shit. So I want to make sure I at least got the plot going in. In the first fucking comment that I fucking read at the bottom when they when they're doing like the summary, it's like, can I? It was this girl, and she was like, "Can I live in this mansion too?" And I was like, "Hell, ah, ah. I liked it though. I liked it though, because it shows that this anime is doing its job. It's getting the female viewership." That's what animes need more now of. We need more female viewers. We need more females in this. We don't want it to be a giant sausage fest to say. We want the women, we welcome them warmly to come in and experience the same type of shit that we experience on a daily basis. Overall, let's see. Let me bring up my list just so I can be sure I get this shit 100% right. My rating. I'm gonna give this. Uh, huh. I'm gonna give this a seven. Yeah, fucking seven. Cause it was good with okay moments in it. I don't. Uh. Because it wasn't. Yeah, it was good with okay moments. So it gets a 7. Look at my fucking scale so you can see exactly what a 7 is. A 7 is like basically. It's it's high up there, but it can, it can get way better. But, yeah, it gets a 7. Because, I mean, watching it, it was kind of boring to watch, especially in the perspective of a guy. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, I gotta watch this shit. But at the same time, I was into it at points. It had its good moments. But it also had its okay moments that were kind of cliche. 
when she walked in on the nigga as he just got done taking a shower. And there was just fucking, there's just a fucking towel there. Nigga's drinking on some water. She gets that fucking bear's face. Good moment, though. Good, good moment. Another good moment was when this nigga, he's like, I can't wait to get better so I can do, so I can give you a real fucking kiss. I'm, oh, shit. This nigga. Ah. So, yeah, fuck it. This gets a seven. It's good and it has okay moments. Every single moment isn't good in it. It has okay moments. The pacing, pacing's iffy. Cause I mean, sometimes it was so so slow. Other times, no, fuck, it was pretty slow throughout the entire thing. It was slow paced. And what it's gonna be like, I feel, is that each episode is gonna be like kind of like that type of slow pacing, but it's just gonna be skipping around through the months. And there's gonna be a lot of shit that we're not gonna see. There's gonna be other shit that we are. But overall been it's been a good start I can say for the summer anime and the fucking two main ones that we've been waiting for DXD and fucking world only God knows three I don't know why they rhyme but fuck it I'm on that Nantucket fuck it, fuck it. I'm done with that shit anyway good it's good. It's it's good with okay moments. Seven. Seven out of ten. And so, this has been Smithers R giving you his fucking review of Brother, Brothers Conflict Episode 1. See ya.